Hey Foreverlies, it is just Maddie in this video and you can probably tell by the title today I am doing an updated makeup routine. So I haven't done one of these in quite a bit and my makeup routine is constantly changing so I decided to update y'all on this. So the first thing I do, which is pretty basic, I take my hair out of my face, I just use some clips and my hair is wet because I just got out of the shower. But I just got these clips from Target and I use them to keep my hair out of my face while I'm doing my makeup. So, once I get that, I use the Milk Hydro Primer, which this stuff is fairly cheap and I really love it. So I just squirt some of that on my hand and I apply that to my face. Also, I want to talk to y'all about some dupes I got online. They're literally, <laughs> it's better to say replicas. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Gotta get this on my face. So y'all know I don't buy designer and I think it's dumb to buy designer because you can find so many replicas online and I know a lot of people hate this about me but I just, if I want something, I'm not going to spend $20,000 on it. I'm going to go find something that looks like it and buy it because I'm not really the type of person to blow my money on designer because I mean I'm trying to save up for a house personally. So I'm not going to go out and buy designer. So I got these two bracelets off of DHgate. This one is a fake Cartier bracelet. This one's a fake Hermes bracelet. They look exactly like the real thing, except they were like 20 bucks instead of 20,000. So personally, that's what I do instead of buying designer. But I don't know. I really like them and they make me feel fancy even though they weren't expensive so this is just something i personally do i know not everybody loves this method and i'm gonna get a lot of hate for it but instead of spending all my money on something that's designer i'd rather just buy a dupe so that's what i did so moving on to the next step i kind of let that dry off and then i am doing foundation this stuff is crazy like the coverage is insane but if you have oily skin I say stay away from it because it's not good for oily skin but it is the Marc Jacobs foundation and my backdrop is shaking but I'm just gonna apply this to my face and it is a little bit dark but I do have a spray tan right now and by that I just mean a self tanner that I did at my house because I can't leave my home because I'm quarantined. But I'm just applying this with the stick and then I'm gonna apply it with my beauty blender. There is my foundation and I look like I have no eyebrows right now so that's really fun but I just blend that out all over my face and then I go in with my powder so for under my eyes I just use the Maybelline bit powder which is super cheap and I love it and I just use this under my eyes to brighten it up And then for the rest of my face, I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And this is the shimmery one that, not the shimmery one, it's the glow one. I guess you could say shimmery, but I use this for the rest of my face. I just don't like the under of my eyes, to, the under of my eyes, my under eyes to be shimmery. So I only use this, like I only use my fit powder under my eyes and then I go in with this on the rest of my face. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I use the Hoola by Benefit to contour. And I just use a fluffy brush to do that. I actually just ordered the bigger Hoola because I've been using the little one for quite some time now and I just actually so I've had the little one for a while but for a while I used the Marc Jacobs bronzer but lately I've been loving the Hoola so I ordered the bigger version of the Hoola so I don't have to always use the mini. Next 
next up I am just using an Anastasia bronzer in the shade Saddle to kind of define my cheekbones. And I put this on my forehead as well. And then I use this Morphe brush, the M459, and I just use this on my nose. It's gonna look kind of crazy for a second here. And then I go in with the leftover powder and kind of clean that up. Next is blush. I have a little Milani blush. As I was saying before, my backdrop decided to fall down. I have a little Milani blush that I just got at Target. And I go in with um, this brush that I've had since I was like 11. Next up is highlight. I am just using this little MAC blush highlight. Honestly, I have no idea where this came from. Like, I have no recollection of buying it. I think one of my friends might have left it here. So if you're one of my friends and you left this here, please let me know so I can give it back to you because I haven't been using it. And um, obviously it's not mine. So I'm just going in with this brush and I like this stuff. Even though it's not mine, I need to go buy my own because it's kind of blushy, so if you put it on where you already have the blush, it just kind of adds like a little glow. So yeah. I'm going to be completely real with you guys. I just took a break to eat some pizza. Um, this morning I got a scale <laughs> and I weighed myself and I decided, okay, I'm going to have a fourth of a waffle for breakfast and two iced coffees. And that did not settle with my stomach very well. So I guess instead of losing weight, we are eating two pieces of pizza now. So that's basically how my day is going. And now we're gonna finish my makeup. So we're not gonna talk about that anymore. That didn't happen, okay? But <clears throat> this isn't really something I do every day. Oh wait, I need to do my eyebrows first. Hold that thought. Okay, I'm gonna use my viewfinder to do my eyebrows. I just kind of like lightly shade them in and add more of a tail. I can't see anything. Hold on, I need a mirror. Also, I'm shaking right now from drinking so much iced coffee. So if you notice that, that is why. Eyebrows are good. This is the best they're getting. But this is something I don't, don't normally do, but I saw a girl on TikTok wearing red eyeshadow. It was kind of like pinkish, and I thought it was really pretty. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I just have this palette. It's the Anastasia Sultry palette, and it has a red shade right here. And I'm just gonna be applying that. And I'm just gonna apply it like it's a lid shade, but then I'm gonna blend it out and kind of add a little highlight in the middle of the lid. If that makes any sense. Look at that. Pretty. Then I'm gonna darken it right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the other lid. Okay, so now I'm going to take my backdrop keeps falling, so that's great. But now I'm just gonna take, where did it go? So now I'm gonna take a little liner brush and put some red under my eyes. My eyes are done. They're pretty basic, but you know what? It's okay. So now I'm going to do lashes. 
I just have these two lashes. I just got them at the drugstore. So you already know what's going on. But I am going to put some lash glue on them and put them on. While the lash glue is drying, I always put some mascara on just so the lashes blend. Okay, now that I am done with my lashes, I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now for lipstick, and I am just using this little Estee Lauder lipstick. Now I'm going to add this little Huda Beauty lip gloss over it. And that is how I do my makeup. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and make sure you tune in for my next video. I am so shaky right now because I'm about to film a video that I am really scared to film, honestly. And it's a really personal topic and I am just not looking forward to filming it. But I know it's something I need to do so I'm still going to. I don't know which video is going to be up first, this one or the one I don't want to film. So either way, you'll know what I'm talking about. Either it's going to be posted or it's already posted. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video nonetheless and wish me good luck. Um, I hope y'all have an amazing day and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.